for cheap Power World items and boosting services from DigiZanny, stock up on gold, materials and more for Power World. And using discount code HAM for a 5% discount, you can't go wrong. So in today's video, we have a jam-packed information overload right here. We have three amazing looking unreleased PALs in PAL World 0.1.5.1. I'll also be showing you an amazing AFK XP glitch that you can do along with unlimited money and gold keys. So stick around for that. As always, there will be timestamps down below in the description that you can skip to any part of the video that you'd like. Please like and subscribe to the channel. That'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much and enjoy the video. So this first pal we have here on the screen right here, I think is one of the coolest looking ones. It is a mix between maybe a dog or a lion. I'm assuming lion because the name of it is actually called Boltmane. The information that it says about it is, the more it moves, the more it heats up and the hair tips increasingly grow brighter. At its peak, it becomes so dazzling that you risk blindness if you stare at it directly. Now, you'd obviously think that this pal is actually a fire type, I would as well. Just looking at it, it looks like any of the normal fire types. It is pretty big as well, it's kind of big. In comparison to a character standing next to it, it's very, very big. Anyway, one thing that you might not actually know, which I didn't know at the start, is this is an electric type. How strange is that? Why? I don't know. If you can let me know why, if you think you know why, I'm not sure. This is so weird, but I really like it and it looks cool. The partner skill that it will have is ride. Obviously, if you think about it, it's literally just going to be you able to ride it. I wouldn't mind that at all. It looks kind of cool riding on the back of a fire lion. I think that'd be pretty sick. Anyway, moving on to the second unreleased pal. Coming in at the second unreleased pal in Pal World, we have the Dragostrophy. I believe I said that right. Anyway, this thing is absolutely huge. Just look at it on screen. The description of this is a silent beast born of the abyss. Thou shall not stand before the beast. Thou shall not heed the beast. What that means, I'm not entirely sure, but this thing is absolutely huge. I believe it is a mix between dark and dragon type. Am I right? I'm not sure. Anyway, some of the movesets it has on screen here are pretty cool. I think it will be quite a powerful pal when you upgrade the attack abilities that it actually has. And then it just says this pal is under investigation the partner skill for this is the black winged shooter that sounds pretty cool so i'd imagine it allows you to actually ride it and then use its ability to shoot something from the wings maybe or like a, a certain ability a bit like iron tail maybe from pokemon don't know no idea but this will be cool i'm looking forward to this one the third and final power that we have right here on the screen is the dark mutant it looks pretty cool, it's caused a little bit of controversy online because people think it might be similar to the XY version of Mewtwo, I'll show a screenshot of that on screen right now. In comparison to a person standing next to it, it's not very big, but at the same time it does sound very very cool. So, some say a beam from a dark mutant that has perfected its technique can tear holes through other dimensions. It's believed that certain species of pals were born from such a phenomena. So I'd assume that maybe this actually travels through time or something or dimensions that pulls other maybe dark type pals through. This might be another reason why Mewtwo has been thrown around in conversation a lot because I swear Mewtwo does very similar things in the Pokemon series. But anyway, I think this is very cool. Looking at the attacks on screen, it absolutely packs a punch. And with the partner skill being called Telekey Explosion, that sounds unreal. Almost like a nuclear explosion type thing. I can't wait to see this one as well. Overall, these three new unreleased pals are very cool and I can't wait to see them. So moving on into the infinite AFK XP glitch and gold glitch all mixed into one. This is crazy, you've got to watch this. Anyway, all you need is red berries and a couple of pals to actually help you out with it. That is it. Very simple enough. So with this screen right here, I literally have two of these little harvesting areas. What's going on behind me? We have two of these plantations right here. Very, very simply, you just need to build two of them. And then you need some pals that will end up seeding, harvesting and watering. So if I go over to my pal base over here, so we have these two guys, the Verdash and Masanda. They're really, really handy and very, very good to actually plant. And we also have Robin Quill who can also plant and Patalia who is also nuts at doing that as well. 
Batalia, Robin Quill, and Verdash also have really, really, really good gathering. And very, very quickly, just harvest everything, and then you have to have transporters, so Verdash also works with that as well. You also need your watering pals as well, so I have Penking who can do that, and also Jormantide, who is probably the best in the actual game. So they will all take it over to this little feeding area right here. As you can see, I have absolute load of stuff here look at this 6774 berries that is crazy so over here Yormantide Inglis has four kindling which means he can cook very 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 quickly honestly how quick this is is nuts basically you just need one of these right here 6800 of these berries and now let's just wait for him to come over take a look at that and now you can also look at my Jetragon's levels going up and up and up. How quickly is this? This is nuts. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for my dragon just to get up to max rank or a very high level. And you can do this as much as you want. I'm AFK. You could just go away from your screen and this will absolutely tear through XP. As you can see, I'm already halfway over to max rank with my Jet Dragon. And now we can go and talk to him and we can sell all of the baked berries that we've just got. So I can then just click on right click and they sell for 10 each, so 3,000 already. Right there and there after what, a minute? How nuts is that? And obviously my Yormantide is going again so we can just repeat this process with 6,000 berries. This is crazy. If you don't want to do that and you need loads of gold coins and also gold keys at the same time, you can actually farm the black marketeers around the map. So I can show you on screen right here a screenshot of the locations of every black marketeer in the game. You can pick and choose whichever one you want, it does not matter. They work perfectly and it's the same thing with every single one. So just for memory, I'm going to go to the first one I know on screen. So I can go to fast travel and I know that there is one over here on the right hand side where the eastern wild island is. And I need to get my dragon out and then go towards him which is up and over towards this area right here. So what we need to do, we now have the Black Marketeer right here. For me, the easiest way of killing it is very, very simply just to talk to him while you actually get your pal to attack it. Also, there is a very good way that you can also use the Hanging Trap. This Hanging Trap is really, really useful. So what we need to do, if you've not seen this before, you build the Hanging Trap like this and make sure it actually sits under him just like that. He then goes flying up in the air and can't retaliate if you smack him like this. Very simple enough. So you can now build a campfire just under him by spamming it like this and it should end up setting him on fire. Does it? Indeed. Yes it does. So we can just sit here and wait for him to actually die. We can end up shooting him with this as well. Ah, oh, this broken as well. That doesn't work very well. So we can also just get my jet dragon out just to help me kill him so we now just wait for him to die he should die any second right now there we go he's just dropped his stuff on the floor perfect stuff and now we can then just bring our guy in take away the builds bang and bang all we need to do now is get back on our jet dragon fly away all the way down here so we turn around and leave the area i'm gonna walk over to the edge right here Regain my stamina. I'm going to go the long way back just so it takes even longer for him to spawn back. So we now go all the way over here and he should be right there again. Look at that. So simple. And now we can just repeat the process and carry on getting unlimited gold in Pal World. How nuts is this? So, so easy to do.